What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Pacific Rim video. This week, another Jaeger origin story, one you guys have expressed a ton of interest in, is a very, very special mech, Striker Eureka. Stryker is special and unique for a few reasons, but the biggest of them all, as of the first movie, Stryker was the only Mark V Jaeger ever built. In fact, by the time of the movie, he was actually the newest and last Jaeger built before the PPDC opted to build the Pacific Rim Wall. Commissioned and constructed for a cool $100 billion in 2019, six years before the events of that first movie, Stryker was funded by the Australian government to protect its Pacific coast from kaiju attacks, with Sisher's devastating attack on Sydney in 2014 still fresh in their minds. Piloted by father and son team Hercules and Chuck Hansen, Stryker was actually the third Australian Jaeger, developed after Lucky 7, Hercules' first Jaeger, and Vulcan Spectre, a Mark III. There's some speculation that Mark I Jaeger Tango Tasmania might have also been Australian, just given its name, but as far as I know, that's never officially been clarified, and interestingly enough, its actual name is still a source of mystery. After Stryker's construction was completed in 2019, Hercules was reassigned from Seven to join his son Chuck in piloting the new mech. The capable duo, combined with the strongest and fastest mech the program had to offer, were formidable, racking up the most kaiju kills of any Jaeger at 11 total, with an incredible nine of those coming on solo drops. By 2024, the Jaeger program's budget was ballooning to maintain the existing Jaegers, while many fell and couldn't be replaced due to the massive price tag building new ones carried. Seeing this as a long-term, untenable strategy, in 2024, the UN Security Council made a decision to move away from the program in favor of the anti-kaiju wall. Eureka was decommissioned and the Hansons were given an early retirement. However, things changed very suddenly in 2025. With the wall nearing 100% completion, the plan was shattered as the kaiju mutivore broke through the wall with ease, tearing into Sydney and destroying the two Jaeger stationed there, Vulcan Spectre and Echo Saber. Stryker and the Hansons jumped back into action, taking out Mutavora but only after massive devastation and the loss of two more Jaegers. With the wall plan both literally and metaphorically in shambles, the UN and the PPDC were sent scrambling. Stryker took on a larger role than ever before as the premier Jaeger, the stopgap and last line of defense, one of only four remaining Jaegers after the Mutivore incident, which brings us right up to the events of the movie. As for its technical specs, Stryker stands 250 feet, weighing in at nearly 2,000 tons. With an upgraded arsenal, it's easily the strongest of the Jaegers, as well as the fastest thanks in part to its stabilizing wing and powerful supercell reactor. Its weapon systems have some of the most variety ever seen in the Jaeger program, with advanced hand-to-hand -hand technology like a heavy brass steel compound in its knuckles to add extra impact force behind its blows, and knife-like wrist-holstered sting blades which cut and burn their monstrous foes. As for conventional weapons, Eureka also features six chest-mounted missile tubes, each capable of firing three specialized anti-kaiju warheads each, which were developed in conjunction with Dr. Geisler's research on kaiju anatomy for maximum effectiveness. But that's about it for a primer on Stryker. Lots of information to digest, I know, so I apologize. Uh, but outside of Gypsy, he's really the Jaeger we saw the most in the movie itself, so there's way more details readily available for me to synthesize and pass on to you guys. Let me know what you thought and who you'd like to see next, but that's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.